On female teacher's first day at this school, she asks students to tell her parents what they do for a living. Then she writes this information down in a book. She wasn't trying to find out about the students' families, but she was trying to get these parents to provide her with a free service. One student's parents were hairdressers, so she used to go to the student's house to cut hair. Instead of charging money, the woman asked the teacher to take good care of the child. In return, Mary would secretly tell the parents the key points of the test. When the lamp at home was broken, Mary would call the parent, who worked as an electrician to come and repair it. When the family ran out of food, she'd call the parent, who was a chef, and ask him to send the cutlets over. She does this all the time. Parents don't dare defy Mary, because she decides whether their kids graduate or not. It's all worth it for the kids. Lucy's father worked at the airport, and Mary wanted him to fly cakes to relatives in Moscow. But it's against the law to send things out of the country without authorization. Lucy's father refused. He's not a crew member, he's just an accountant at the airport. He didn't want to take the risk. But after this incident, Lucy became a student Mary hated. She's been picked on academically for all sorts of reasons. She's already failed three times this semester. If this keeps up, she won't be able to do gymnastics anymore, as she'll have trouble getting into college. Lucy's parents had a fight about it. Then her father came to the school to apologize to Mary, and asked her to stop paying her daughter. Mary agreed, but she continued to ignore Lucy. She kept destroying Lucy's confidence. She told Lucy that she wasn't fit to learn, that her gymnastics skills were a mess. There's no point in her living. Because of Mary's demonstrations, Lucy was ostracized by her classmates. Under pressure, the 10-year-old girl chose to take her own life. On her first day at school, this female teacher wrote down all the occupations of her students' parents. She was pleased to hear that there was a hairdresser and a mechanic. When she heard that there were doctors and lawyers, she immediately got excited. But she didn't care about the students, she wanted these professions to help her. Every parent becomes her servant. Her tool to control all parents is the children's grades. If parents listened to her, she gave their children high grades, while other children were targeted by her. One girl she bullied chose to commit suicide. Parents exposed the teacher's bad behavior and joined forces with the principal to initiate a signing agreement. They want to sue Mary. The parents involved in the meeting were divided. A wealthy woman agreed to Mary's behavior. She thinks Mary is the son. One parent, a judge by profession, was furious. He thinks Mary's fine. It's the girl who's too weak to handle the pressure. Two camps have formed. Those who helped Mary spoke up for her. They didn't want to be exposed because they were involved in the case themselves. At this point, another parent stood up and supported the girl's parents. Because his boy was one of the victims, the boy's name was Phil and he helped the girl when she was being bullied by the class. But instead of praising him, Mary accused him of bullying his classmates and was going to fail his exams because Phil's father once refused to fix his washing machine. After that, Phil was hated by Mary. When she was in a bad mood in class, she would beat Phil up. Phil dreamed of being a wrestler, and the girl who killed herself dreamed of being a dancer. Mary started stopping them from practicing. She demanded that he and the girl clean up after school, and if they didn't, they lost credit. She wanted to control their training time, and her desires were endless. This time she fell in love with a student's parent. A group of students all brought contraband, but the teacher didn't punish all of them. She kicked the others out, leaving only the boy, Tom. Tom brought a command gun to school, a very serious offense. Mary reassures him that he'll be fine, as long as he gives his father's contact information. Mary then gave Tom's father all the merchandise coupons from her students' parents. In those days, coupons were more useful than money. Tom's father refused. Mary started leaking exam questions to him again and secretly tutored Tom. The moment she saw Tom's dad, she immediately approached him. She serves the man's soup and says the ingredients are from other parents, and she'll cook for him in the future. Mary even tried to get Tom's dad to divorce his wife. Although Tom's dad refused, Mary didn't give up. All the students' parents knew about it at the meeting to expose Mary's evil behavior, except for those parents who were targeted by Mary. Others chose to remain silent. One parent with a disability stood up and said he had to get up at for every day to buy Mary breakfast. If he didn't, his child wouldn't be able to go to school. Tom's father, who had been silent, finally got up the courage to sign the letter. But instead of support from other parents, he was met with silence. Parents who had dealings with Mary refused to sign. And then the principal came through with a strong statement that Mary's students had the worst grades in the school. There was no hope for the kids to go on to the next level. The parents' silence was only hurting the kids. They still didn't respond. But when it was over, they went to the office. More and more parents signed the letter. Justice may be late, but it's never absent. The evil teacher was finally removed from his post. The movie is called The Teacher. It uses lighthearted satire to expose the dark side of society behind the scenes.
The creepy part is that Mary uses her power to go to a new school, and a new cycle begins. If it were you, would you have the courage to expose this evil?